All right, in Brooklyn with Lidge. Now we're re getting ready to uh, take the subway to go downtown for AES. And uh, yeah, can't wait to start the day and meet people and so on. So now I'm waiting for Lidge to get out here and... Uh, oh, there he is. It's the Lidge. Ready to rock. Ready to rock. I've got a notebook. The most basic way of actually communicating and writing things down. Awesome. Goes back centuries. <laughs> a pen. <laughs> A pencil and most important of all a pair of reading glasses just in case I actually have to read hey, something man. while I'm there. We're not getting any younger. Right here. Yep. So Lidge. I thought it was square. I didn't know it was round. All right, so got my badge. So we're good to go, Lidge. We're here. AES New York. It's actually my first AES conference. Yeah, here. same here, man. Walking in Brooklyn. Oh, is it is it facing us now here? Yeah. So uh, I gotta say, man, I'm really enjoying walking barefoot here because it feels great. Oh, these guys are doing wheelies down the middle of the street. But my God, this sidewalk is so it's got getting so dirty. <laughs> it's really gross. Look at this guy. And I and I, I have to say, I really don't expect anybody else to understand. So thanks for watching. You know, maybe walking on on the grass is kind of cool. You know, walking barefoot. Well, on. I mean, you know, in all fairness, there's nothing cool about what I'm doing walking <laughs> in the city here. A lot of people just think it's a little bit stupid, but it feels good. I didn't say anything. I just like walking barefoot more than walking in these flip flops. These are not that comfortable to walk in. They're really dirty. Yeah. I just looked at the dirty bottom of these flip flops. But cement idea. is way more comfortable. Ian Shepard and Lidge Shaw. Now Ian is uh, an amazing mastering engineer. He's based in the UK. My first time meeting him in person. Yeah. So so you can focus. Alright guys, so now 
Here's here is our mixing tips from Times Square. Yeah. Okay. Right, Ledge, you go first. Yeah. So this is my drunk mixing tip from Times Square, live from Times Square in New York City. We're here this week for AES New York City 2017. It's a totally awesome conference, and of course we had to finish it out with a couple of beers, walk through Times Square. Here comes the tip. All right. When you're mixing drums, a lot of times. You're used to exciting sounding drum mixes where the snare is just explosive and kicking much booty. Sometimes you need to do more than just use your built-in room mics to get the sound. So the, the trick is you need to actually set up a separate reverb channel, send your drums to that reverb channel, find a small room sound or a medium room sound that really matches the drum tone of your existing drums, then put a compressor after that, possibly put an EQ before or after the compressor to filter out some lows, filter out some highs, and really focus in on the mid-range that you need for the snare, and then send the snare to that reverb, jack that compression up, and that's where you, when you, when your mix comes together and your drums are all sort of gluing together, that's where you can get that explosive snare sound that happens. You gotta gate the snare potentially a little bit before you send it to the reverb, but that's a good trick. I actually learned that one from Jamie Tate when I was mixing with him in Nashville. So check that one out. Make your snares huge. Make your drums rock. All right, my tip. Whatever you just said, don't do it. <laughs>